so this week we're doing underrated books. I know some of the other girls did underrated books that are, um, like, underrated in the world in general, and ones that are underrated in the blogging community, and I kind of did both, like, books that are just not well-known in general, and should be because they're awesome. Um, so, the, let me just get right to it. The first one that I choose is actually a bind-up, and it's Kissed by an Angel by Elizabeth Chandler, and this has all three books, which is Kissed by an Angel, The Power of Love, and Soulmates. And I know those sound kind of like cheesy titles, but if you're into romance, then definitely pick these books up. It's about this girl, um, Ivy, and she falls in love with this guy, Tristan, and he's absolutely amazing. Loved him so much. He's like the perfect guy. And then he dies. Yeah. And it's like really sad, but he kind of comes back as a ghost. And uh, things happen, and there's someone trying to kill Ivy. Um, so he, he protects her, Tristan. And there's a big mystery, and you just. Uh, I mean, I really loved it. It's a really great series, and it's really not even that big on paranormal. It's more a romance than anything, so if you really like romances, then definitely pick this one up. The paranormal aspect is, like, really minor compared to the romance, and the romance was so cute. Next book is Strange Angels by Lily St. Crow. This series is amazing. I think I've read the first three. First three? Yeah, I'm on the fourth. Um, and just wow. Wow, 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 wow. It is well known that I love... Um, main characters, female main characters, that can hold their own in a battle. And Drew can hold her own in any battle against werewolves and vampires and all this stuff and zombies. So I automatically just loved her. This book is amazing. It's very... what could I compare it to? Demon Trapper's daughter. Uh, a little bit grittier, a little bit um, this actually came out before Demon Trapper started, though, but, um, yeah, it's just really intense and, like, really, there's also some romance, but it's, like, pfft, it, it's kind of, um, secondary. The writing is awesome, characters are all awesome, so I absolutely recommend this one, and I'm amazed that it hasn't gotten more, um, like, more, not hype, like, just, I'm amazed that more people don't know about it because it's just really an amazing series. Next book is The Chronicles of Vladimir Todd, this entire series. Like, I know this one came out right after Twilight, so it was like the vampire craze, but this is actually a really good series. It's about a boy who's a vampire, which is kind of different, and there's, the romance isn't really there. It's all about how he kind of, he, everyone wants to kill him because he's like this, he's the only vampire that's ever been born because like vampires are supposed to obviously you know bite each other and then they become vampires but he was born from a human and a vampire so like he's fulfilling some prophecy or something and everyone wants to kill him and he's just like a down-to-earth teenage kid you know and he's like I don't really want this I just kind of want to live my life and get a girlfriend and whatever it's really thin it's not even you know it's it's not like a big a deal to read it, you know, it'll take you like a few hours at the most. It was real, it's like one of those reads that you just kind of read it to, you don't want anything heavy, you don't want anything crazy, you just want like a, you, a, a book that you know is going to be good, that you know you're going to like, with great characters, great writing, and this is it. <clears throat> and it's about vampires too, but they're not like your general vampires, they're kind of different. Next one is... Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And I know this is pretty well known in the blogging world, um, but I feel like in general more people don't know about it, and they should because it's such an amazing book. Like, not only is it awesomely written, and it's really different, it has a male uh, protagonist, the storyline is it's completely different than anything I've ever read in my life, and the creatures, or whatever you want to call them, are also, like, never read anything about them. And what makes this book so unique is that there are photographs all throughout, like, and these are actual photographs that the author, um, looked for, and he put, and he 
put them in the book, like, specifically to fit the story. Let's see some more photographs there. It's a little bit creepy. At first I was a little creeped out. I didn't read it at night because, I don't know, the, the photographs kind of freak you out and the story is also ever so slightly creepy. It's not scary, it's creepy. But, um, yeah, this is a book that I think everyone, because there's just something for everyone. Like, I at first I thought I really wouldn't like it because it's a guy main character, but I he was really relatable. It was really easy to get inside his head. And just the way it was written, just amazing, tying in the photographs, like, it all goes together. And, like, once you read it, you realize that with, without the photographs, it wouldn't have been the same, you know, so. Um. And the last book is Eyes Like Stars by Lisa Manchev. And I know this is also really well known in the blogging community, but I feel like it's not... Like, it doesn't have the recognition it deserves because it really is a great book series. Um, I think Harmony also included this one in her video because it's about Shakespeare and theater and but it builds this whole epic high fantasy around that and I'm a theater person so you know I'm an actress and just in general I'm a fan of theater so it, it was really interesting to read like a high fantasy version of all of my favorite plays you know Hamlet and Hamlet's my favorite play ever, so to have the characters of Hamlet be, like, main plot points was really cool. Um, there's a lot of really great characters in here that Lisa Manchev gives life to that are from Shakespeare. Ariel, which is um, the air spirit from The Tempest by Shakespeare. There's also some fairies from A Midsummer Night's Dream. And it's just, like, I, I just really wish more people would know about it. Um, and it came out a few years ago, so, like, and the trilogy is already over, so the hype has kind of died down, but I feel like more people need to read this because it's really just that great, and I really loved it. So those are my books. Those are the books that I think just don't get enough recognition, and they should. I mean, it's great to have books like Hunger Games and Harry Potter being, you know, so big, but sometimes you gotta make room for the other books that, you know, aren't really as well known, but they should be because they're maybe not just as good, but they're, they are fantastic in their own ways, and I think that's one of the best things about being a blogger is that we can share these books with other people, and I actually really try to do it in my real life, you know, whenever, because friends always come to me asking me for book recommendations, because they obviously know that I'm like the book girl, so I, I literally have like a list of books just ready in my head, and I'm like, get a piece of paper, write these down and they tell me that they love them because you know and I usually recommend books like this that are really not well known at all because you know it's good to support authors as well so and also if you have any books that you think are underrated please please recommend them to me and I will check them out because I love uh, getting new books that I've never heard of or maybe I have heard of but just kind of like in passing and who knows I may love them so please 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 uh, leave a comment with any books that you feel should get more recognition, and I will definitely go check them out. Those are my books, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.